with them traveling with the team were a lot of fun. And the odd time, very odd time, I had dinner uh, at, at the, kind of the main table. You know, the team goes out for dinner, and I was late coming into the dining hall, and all the uh, players' tables were filled. I had to sit with King and, and Harold and, I guess, uh, some of the other management. And uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. Those guys had some great stories to tell. In fact, Joe, I don't know whether you want me to speak to the uh, to the best coach I ever had. You want me to tell you who the best coach uh -huh. I ever had was? Sure. Who was that? I mean, I had, well, there's a story that goes with it. I mean, I had Cole Blake, of course. I had Sid Abel, yeah. uh, Roger Nielsen, Red Kelly, lots of great coaches. Punch. But I think the best coach I ever had was King Clancy, who came in to replace Johnny McClellan. On an interim basis back in, gosh, I don't know what year it was, 1972 maybe. And we were in Los Angeles for that first game that King took over. And we had to win that game to uh, get into the playoffs. And it had to be late March, I guess. It was hot down in the, uh, in the old forum in L.A. And as I say, King's first game behind the bench. But uh, after the warm-up, we were sitting there waiting for King to come in and give his words of wisdom. And what was he going to say? And we knew he was a feisty character, and at that time he had to be about 80 years old, I suppose, and like that little leprechaun of a guy that he was. And he came into the dressing room and took off his sport jacket and had the tie cinched up tight to his to his neck, and he had perspiration stains down the small of his back and perspiration <laughs> stains under his armpits, and he kept pacing up and down, pacing up and down, and uh, this young impressionable team was wondering what King was going to say to motivate us, and finally with the sweat, as I say, on his back and under his armpits, he turned around and he said, you know, it's so goddamn hot out there, you could run a boom of logs down the crack of my ass. And that was his <laughs> words of wisdom. That, that was his pep talk. We went out and won the game, made the playoffs. And I said, with a pep talk like that, this guy's got to be the best coach I ever had. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's it. But I guess I loosened the team up, didn't it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you right. got right. You got you. You got a coach who's pretty loose and allowed you to be a little bit loose, right? No X's and O's from King. No X's and O's. No, no. <laughs> yeah, the X's and O's were a little, little after King's time, I'm sure, as well as video and everything else. Um, so, 